of glory Something I knew before Right now I can't remember What I was told So, somebody recently asked me what about the future of Japan? What about renewable energy in Japan? What's the future? How do we fix Japan? Because Japan, my understanding is, is very much um, reliant on imported fossil fuel. And in Hawaii, we have the same problem. Hawaii, which is a small island, we, small set of islands, we import $5 billion a year on oil with 1.5 million people. You can imagine how much money is flowing out of our economy to buy that stuff. And what do we get for it? Nothing. We get pollution. And the same thing goes for Japan. So what are the assets? What are the assets that Hawaii has? What are the assets that Japan has for renewable energy? Well, Hawaii has sun, incredible sun. We have wind. Um, but the biggest untapped source, I shouldn't say untapped because we're using a little bit, is geothermal. Now, Japan has a huge amount of geothermal and it's not being used at all. I can't understand that. I can't understand why it's not being used here. And the reason is generally local objections by people saying we don't want it in our neighborhood for some reason. There's a saying, it's not in my backyard, and it even gets worse here in Hawaii, which we, we say bananas. Build almost nothing anywhere near anything. And that is the problem. There's always objections by people. But, but geothermal is a very clean source of energy. And I believe that the geothermal resource underneath Japan is huge. Okay, say that you get too much objection and you can't use geothermal. Here's the other solution. What Japan should do is build giant wind farms or solar farms in Australia and import, use them to make hydrogen and import hydrogen. That should be the replacement for importing fossil fuel. The whole world, any place where you don't have a source of energy, a local source like wind or solar or geothermal, they should be importing hydrogen for their energy. And that hydrogen can be made by renewable resources in other locations that have an abundance of renewable resources. So Japan, wake up. Stop spending that money on fossil fuel. It doesn't do you any good. Switch to your locally grown uh, geothermal energy and import hydrogen. Those are the two things that I think are the future of Hawaii. Thank you very much. So, so here's, here's something else. We, everything that we have, this whole society, our lives, were given to us by our parents and our grandparents. And what are we giving to our children and our grandchildren? That's a question we should actually think about because the world that we received from our parents is a lot nicer than the world that we're giving to our children and our grandchildren. And it really is up to us to fix that world before we pass it on. That is our responsibility. That is our responsibility to the next generation. It's our responsibility to all the generations that are coming. They will look back on our period of history and they will look at us and say, you guys were the heroes and you fixed everything or you were the worst selfish people that have ever lived. You destroyed the planet and gave us a hell. So this is up to you. Take the responsibility, fix the future for your children. One last thing. Um, you, with Blue Planet Foundation, you guys gave postcards to kids and they drew their own future. And I heard that that kind of moved, you send those postcards to the no, government? So, here, so, here, so what we did is um, we were struggling with the legislators who wanted to have 100% by 2050 and we were, we were fighting for 100% by 2040. So I, I huddled with my team and said, how can we move the politicians? And I said that 
the voice of what they what we want in the future should come from the children because it's their future so we had a contest we had children draw pictures you know please give us a hundred percent renewable by 2040 and it was a kind of a contest and we took the best ones out of because it's all elementary schools all over Hawaii we took the best ones and we made a book a hardcover book and when you get a hardcover book as a gift you can't throw it away because it's hardcover and uh, the, the, the gift that a politician can receive cannot be more than $25 so we made this book for $24.95 <laughs> and we gave each politician one and it softened them up and we were able to get 2045. Interesting, I love that story. Thank you. That's it? Hi. Are we done? Hi. Yeah.